Welcome everybody. In this video we will review the investment payback in solar air heating versus electric space heating. Spoiler alert, solar air heating requires investment up front, but there is a payback that depends upon your system cost, your location, and your cost of electricity or heating fuel. For the cost of solar air heating, we'll use our Arctica 1500 series solar air heater. From our website, click on the product page to see the most recent product pricing for our 1500 watt capacity heater. We are also estimating $200 in cost to ship the heater and $200 in installation costs, although the heater is easy to install and may cost less depending on your handyman abilities. For electric heating, we'll consider an inexpensive 1500 watt space heater purchased off of Amazon. Here is a middle of the road model with shipping included for only $25. What a deal. For our first location, let's go with Denver, Colorado, a great solar heating location given its cold climate and abundant sunshine. First, we need to figure out the cost of electricity. Feel free to consult your own utility bill for this step or use a resource such as Choose Energy, which aggregates national average electricity pricing. For Colorado, we'll use a rate of 14 cents per kilowatt hour in our analysis. Next, on the Arctica Solar website, we have a heater performance calculator. Enter the location, zip code, and the cost of electricity, and the calculator will estimate the total number of useful kilowatt hours generated by the heater per year. We can plug this into a simple energy cost calculator, which we will link to in our video notes, which estimates a cumulative cost projection for solar heating and electric heating, given your details. For this analysis of Denver, we see a payback period of about six winter seasons. Let's also look at a higher cost electricity location, such as California. In Nevada City, California, for example, the electricity rate is estimated at 24 cents per kilowatt hour. We plug Nevada City's zip code into our calculator to see a useful heat estimation of 1,660 kilowatt hours per year. Plugging these values into our spreadsheet shows a payback of only three seasons. In summary, payback periods from investing in solar heating vary based upon your location, the cost of conventional energy, and the cost of your heater project. Our online heater performance calculator can help you estimate the annual performance in your area. And of course, this is a simplified analysis. There are key differences between solar heating and electric heating. First, electric heaters can work at night. Solar heaters cannot. Also, we do not analyze other sources of electric heating such as mini splits or central heat pumps, which are more expensive but have higher coefficients of performance than electric resistive heaters, perhaps a topic for a future video. And of course, solar heating is renewable and carbon free. Thanks for watching. Visit our website or email us for more information.